I'm Pamela Lee Bringer. I'm Johannes Muliana. The form is inspired by the banana fruit and the, the form it takes when it grows in the trees. Also, it's a symbol of, um, it's a, one of the most planted uh, cash crops in the world. Thinking about the, you know, the environmental impact and uh, this uh, monoculture that's um, developed around the world. The other side of the work is um, also about the use of plastic in our everyday life. Currently, the use of plastics uh, is still growing, even though we've cut back on you know, single-use plastics being banned and plastic bags and plastic straws and so on. And it's the impact on the environment is still kind of you know, unfolding and growing. The working title of this work is Buta Buta, which is Indonesian for spinning round again, because the uh, work does blow in the wind, and I'm not sure because I'm standing in front of it, um, whether it's actually turning at the moment or not. <laughs> it requires only a gentle breeze to start turning, um, but we know that it does get quite windy here in the gardens, in these beautiful gardens, but we really want to call it to everything this reference is a song title which you may or may not remember. Um, so the next line is to everything, um, turn, turn, turn. And it's a quote from, it's a biblical quote, but it was made a popular song um, uh, in probably the 1960s. By the birds. And consequently sung by other people. And I thought that was quite appropriate because of not only the rotation of the work, um, but also because we are addressing to everything with the, the notions of sustainability and um, recycling. If I don't make work, um, then I get very unpleasant and grumpy. <laughs> to me, it's more about trying to speak to the audience, I guess, that I enjoy that aspect. Also, being able to communicate on different levels, like some people engage with the form and the appearance, whereas other people are more, you know, engaged with it more cerebrally uh, and um, mm. more on a sort of conceptual level. So, and I like having both um, present in in our work to um, to do that. I think that's quite important. I used to, when I was at art school, I used to you know, paint. And at some point I realised that I had other things to say and maybe other media were better at saying that than simply just paint. Then that meant I could have a voice without being too didactic, <laughs> if you like. So the materials that we've used, uh, repurposed bamboo sticks, recycled, plastic bottles. It's, a, it's actually interesting, even though it's plastic, but it's a, it has its own kind of beauty and resilience. So it's good for sculpture material, but in a way, it's also bad for the environment because it doesn't degrade. <laughs> yeah, so that, there's that contradiction. Because it looks very ephemeral, um, but in fact, it's quite long lasting. We've also used um, repurposed wheels to, make, to help make it spin. It's been a very challenging year and it's been a very challenging few years. I mean, I'm sure everyone's mentioned that the fact that lockdowns have meant that um, life was difficult to get work made, to get work um, exhibited. We kind of get inspired by things that we see and come into contact with. And so working from home and being at home all the time really wasn't conducive to you know, your creative processes because you're seeing the same things Cats, every every day. Dishes, <laughs> each yeah. other. So it, it really <laughs> was, was very, a bit, yeah, stultifying, I could say. Oh, the colour yellow. <laughs> yeah. Well, referencing the bananas, of course. Um, not particularly referencing banana um, patterns, but um, yes, in that. And for some reason, it... It is also making everyone feel very happy at the moment. Yellow, sunshine, we need all, all need a bit of that. Creating art in the gardens is awesome because it's such a beautiful place to be and always, you always feel peaceful. But it's such a nice environment to actually engage with, especially the kind of artwork, um, so the physical artworks that we make just seem to fit in really well in this environment, not only visually but conceptually. We also love the fact that um, after a few months, creatures kind of take residence in these works. Uh, you know, some use it as a perch, sometimes as a temporary kind of housing. Mm. Um, 
rent-free, of course. 